I hope all is well. Just got an interesting video here that I want to share with you. It's really quick. It's just a video of Donald Trump being asked about Robert Kennedy Jr. Should be interesting. Let's see what he has to say. This uh, election interference at the highest level. Never been done before in our country. And I should be out campaigning right now. And I want to be out campaigning like I was yesterday. We finally had a break. And I was out campaigning yesterday. Very unfair. There's never been anything like this in the history of our country. Never. So we're doing well. The polls are extremely good despite that. The polls are extremely good. The best we've ever had. And it looks like we're doing very well. Any questions? RFK, I don't know anything about it. Look, RFK is really? falling very low. He's uh, not a serious candidate. They say he hurts Biden. I don't know who he hurts. He might hurt me. I don't know. But he has very low numbers, certainly not numbers that he can debate with. And uh, he's got to get his numbers up a lot higher before he's credible. But the, uh, the numbers, the numbers that he's taken away they say will be against Biden. I don't know. I'm not so sure it could be a little bit against me. But I don't see him as a factor. Um you don't know anything about him. Okay, so everything that you've said about him that you when you tried to smear him, it's all just false statements. Sorry about that. Wait, what wait, what are you talking about? You don't know anything about him. That doesn't even make any sense. Of course you know everything about him. By the way, he's also sued you twice and beat you. Let's just also keep that in mind. Then to say he's not a serious candidate, his, his numbers are lower. What are you talking about? His polling numbers are not accurately being displayed because he's not being included in the polls in every state. So, of course, his national average is going to be low. If every state polled him, he'd be 20 to 25%. If they debated, if Robert Kennedy Jr. got on the stage with Biden and Trump, he would slaughter both of them. It wouldn't even be easy or it wouldn't even be hard. I mean, it wouldn't, I mean, he would just make his point. He'd probably shoot up 10 points if they had a debate, which is why Trump got all kind of bullish and said, oh, I don't know anything about him. He's trying not to give him any uh, acknowledgement or any credit because all that's doing Every time people talk about him, his numbers kind of start going up. But then now the mainstream media has to, has to smear him, and Donald Trump has to come and pretend he doesn't know who he is, and he's not a threat or he's not credible. Most people who are going to vote for someone like Robert Kennedy Jr. are not the type of people who are going to go and participate in these bullshit polls anyway. There's about 150 million people in 2020 who did not vote. Think about that for a second. If he gets 20% of those people to say, okay, I'm going to go out and vote. It's what, 30 million people right there. He's going to take some from Biden. He's going to take some from Trump. How many? What if he wins enough electorals to keep Biden or Trump from getting to 270? And that's a whole other topic for another video. But what actually, just to quickly go over that, then it becomes up to the House. So each state will have one vote and the House representatives will decide who it goes to. Now, you can make the argument that's good for Trump. Not so fast. I don't want to get too much into that right now. I'll make another video separately on that topic. But going back to Robert Kennedy versus Trump and even versus Biden, they would get humiliated by him. And they know that it would make him much popular. If he was polled uh, nationally, he would be probably, like I said, 20 to 25 percent. You only need 15 percent to get into the to the debates. That being said, it looks like the debates aren't happening anyway because you're gonna, you're likely gonna have Joe Biden continue to double down, and you're gonna have the DNC say, "No, sorry, we're not gonna have the debates." They would never let that happen. He would destroy RFK Jr. would destroy both of them. Yes, it would be good for the Democrats to have Trump look bad, and Trump would look very bad in that situation. Trust me. But so would Biden. And then maybe a lot of people realize, hey, we actually have a non-divisive candidate here. I hate Trump. I don't really like Biden either. I hate Biden. Don't really like Trump either. Those people usually would pick either Trump or Biden. They have another option now. How many millions of people feel that way? Could Robert Kennedy get 50, 60 million votes? I think that's a stretch. 
But these polling numbers, when it comes to independents, especially an independent like Robert Kennedy, especially when you have two douchebag candidates like Biden and Trump, I, I think the sky's the limit. His stance on Israel is, I, I think, is hurting him. 50% of Democrats view what's happening in Israel as a genocide. And Biden is on the side of Israel, just like Biden, just like Trump. So in terms of the, you know, the whole Israel-Gaza war, you don't actually have another option. You don't have like a ceasefire candidate, as, unless Robert Kennedy has retracted that since, but I don't believe he has. That's going to hurt him big time. That's what's probably going to keep him from having a big chance of winning because not enough Democrats will switch over. That being said, Robert Kennedy Jr., other than that, is the only actual Democratic candidate. Biden's not. The Democratic Party has become something else. They're not on the left. They pretend to be, but when it comes to war, they like to kill a lot of people. That's not supposed to be something that liberals like. Liberals aren't supposed to like when big corporations get involved in politicians, and yet the Democrats have all the money, or at least most of it. So I don't know what they are. There's there's some, some sort of weird totalitarian government, I guess. I, I don't know, but there's something else. But Robert Kennedy, if you're an actual Democrat supporter, you would support Robert Kennedy, because that's who actual Democrat actual old school traditional liberals would vote for but you're going to pick biden because you hate trump so much it's like okay maybe that works i don't think it's going to work uh that being said i i don't think that biden's going to even be the the candidate for the the democrats anyway we'll have to see about that but i've predicted that in the past they haven't made any changes yet so maybe i'm wrong but yeah i, I don't see i actually don't see any of the of these three candidates being president I think the Democrats are going to pull Joe Biden. They're going to put in Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama. And whoever it is between those two will become the next president of the United States. I hope to God I'm wrong. But that's what it's looking like, in my opinion. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I always look forward to uh, hearing from you guys. And also keep your eye out on the, the polls as well, because I'm dropping a lot of polls. I like to... Um, I like to, I'm a very curious person, so I like to hear what you guys think on a lot of topics. So uh, definitely uh, you know, keep responding to those. I'll be putting multiple questions out, multiple polls out every day. And again, if you have suggestions, anything you want me to talk about, anything you want me to drop in a poll, please don't be shy. I, I try to read as many comments as I can. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. So thanks so much for watching again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you guys later. And I hope you have a great day.